Hi, this is Dr. Aiko Holman. Today I would like to share with you about the difference between commanding and asking God. And many Christians seem to be confused about this. And in some, many occasions when we should be commanding, they're asking God to do something about it. Like a, do something about the devil, do something about the pain, do something about the uh, blockages and hindering forces and so on. And uh, when these things are happening, and remember Jesus said, speak to the mountain. But uh, <laughs> Jesus uh, told me one day, he says, my people are talking about the mountains when they should be commanding, speak to the mountain. And so it's a commanding is necessary, and we are told to do that, take authority over the mountain of problems, mountain of hindrances, and so on. And then asking God is for the gift. This is based on uh, John 16, 23. Jesus is talking, and he said, if you ask the Father in my name, he, the Father, will give it unto you. He did not say the Father will do it for you. And but John 14, 13, Jesus is talking about totally different category. If you ask in my name, and uh, actually that word ask is demand or command, if you command or ask, demand in my name, I, Jesus is speaking, I will do it. It's a doing, okay? And so, but we need to say it in the name of Jesus or in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yahshua is Jesus, Ha is the, and Mashiach is the Messiah. So you can say quickly, Mashiach, you know, Yahshua HaMashiach or Yahshua Ha. Mashiach. But in his name you can command. And uh, I command the pain and the cause of pain to leave this body. I command the tumors to be dissolved and be dissolved and be gone out of this body. I command the cataracts to be dissolved and be gone. I command the uh, 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 parasites or uh, scar tissue to be dissolved and be gone. So you're commanding. But remember, Jesus said, I will do it. He will dissolve. He will eliminate the pain. He will uh, take away the, you know, the tumors and so on. But the other way is a gift. Remember John 16, 23. Jesus said, if you ask the Father in my name, you still do it in his name. Then he said, the Father will give it unto you. Remember, he did not say the Father will do it. He will give it unto you. It's a gift. And so the gift of uh, recreating miracles, uh, new uh, uh, body parts that are missing, or the joints, let's say uh, shoulder uh, joint, hip joint, and the knee joints, and the Quite often people come to me with the, you know, the bone against bone kind of situation. Uh, cartilage is already gone or partially gone. And so the tremendous pain in walking, the hip joint and knee joint is, you know, rubbing against the bone against bone. Well, that's when recreating miracles are required. And so that's when you ask the Father in Jesus' name, for the gift of recreated miracles, gift of new cartilage, gift of new discs in between vertebrae in your neck or even spine. I have seen many occasions of spine being healed or neck being healed uh, after even excruciating pain. And in uh, uh, one occasion, they had the x-ray picture of the hip joint and the cartilage is almost 90% gone. And so uh, every step of the way was extremely painful. And the Lord actually replaced the cartilage between the, you know, the hip bones. And almost instantly, within a few seconds, the person got up and walked. And he said, the best 
test is to walk up and down the steps, stairs. And so he did and walked up and down the stairs and, and no pain. And so that shows the, the cartilage was replaced. And another person with the uh, spine, in this particular case, it was, uh, uh, she had this coliosis. So the doctors actually surgically implanted the uh, rod, metal rod, I think she said about more than a foot long in her spine. And uh, she could not bend or twist her spine. And uh, when she uh, go from a prone position to upright position, the, the rod, the metal rod was sticking to her throat. Isn't that terrible? And she said she has to move very slowly, cautiously from the prone position to the upright position so that uh, it would not stick, you know, the metal, it would not stick uh, to her throat. Well, anyway, uh, I commanded at first those things, the, the pain and the cause of pain to get out. And I didn't actually say anything about the metal rod. And, but then I asked the Heavenly Father to restore and recreate all the part of, of, you know, every part in her spine, including the discs in between um, vertebrae. Well, anyway, almost instantly, I, I would say within a few minutes, she bent down and touched her toes. She twisted her torso every which way, no pain. And so we surmised that rod, you know, metal rod, must have disappeared. <laughs> and so I asked the lady, and this was a woman, uh, you know, go back to the doctors and have an x-ray made and uh, to prove that the metal rod is gone. Because obviously, uh, she previously, 24-7 uh, pain because of the rod, but uh, obviously was gone and no pain, and she was able to twist her body and so on. So these are the things that we need to know the distinction between asking the Father for the gift. So the gift could be body parts, gift could be a new baby, you know, the person who could not get pregnant, for example, uh, will ask for a new baby, and, uh, or it could be a new house, it could be a new job, or it could be good night's sleep, because receiving the uh, good restorative sleep every night is very important. And so, you remember God is the, the gift giver. And so, the God does not slumber or sleep, and uh, He will give His beloved sleep. And so, good night's sleep is a gift. And so, you ask the Father, in Jesus' name, for the gift of good night's sleep, or gift of a house, gift of a job, a gift of a, a, a baby, uh, or gift of recreative miracles in the spine, or the neck, or shoulders. Or, uh, I, I know one person who had the rotator cuff torn already, and the x-rays actually showed the uh, the tone up in the, the s several places, she said, the x-ray showed. And the uh, doctor said he has, she has to go through a surgery and she, they have to implant three prong, three pins over the uh, rotator cuff area to put the, those uh, torn uh, rotator cuff together. And she has to go through the, uh, uh, y you know, the, uh, uh, physical therapy, and uh, they estimated about three months of uh, physical therapy. Well, anyway, the Lord instantly recreated her rotator cuff, and this was in a matter of, oh, less than one minute. The moment I spoke about the recreated miracles, according to John 16, 23, I said, Father, this is your gift. I ask for your gift of a rotator cuff totally restored and recreated instead of going through the surgery. So after I finished the speaking, and Father, I know you're watching over your word to perform it. And uh, so 
the moment I said, John 16, 23, this is your gift that we receive. And let uh, this person repeat it after me. Thank you, Father, for your gift of new rotator cuff. And almost instantly, I, I would say, you know, like I said, less than one minute. Uh, previously, just slightest movement was excruciating pain. And so I said, move your shoulder. And she was careful and, you know, just slightly moved. Oh, no pain. And so she was encouraged and she moved more. And pretty soon she was, you, you know, making total round uh, movement and absolutely no pain. So that actually showed a uh, new rotator cuff. And so things like that is a gift. And so you need to ask the Father for the gift according to John 16, 23. But when it comes to commanding the uh, tumors to di be dissolved or uh, pain and the cause of pain to go, that's John 14, 13. You command in Jesus' name, and then He, the Jesus, will do it for you. Okay, I hope you understand the distinction between the two so that you will not confuse the two and you know what to do. And every time when you see people with pain, there are certain conditions, and uh, one condition may require recreative miracles. For example, uh, ear, uh, healing. Uh, miracles. In some occasions, you need to command just the uh, deaf spirit, spirit of deafness, to com command to be gone. But many occasions, you need to ask the recreative miracles of the eardrums or the nerve damage and the new nerves to be uh, installed and the liquid, the fluid inside, and so on. So there may be some recreative miracles. Uh, required. So in that case, you need to both, okay? After you ask the Father in Jesus' name for the recreated miracles, and then you command the spirit of deafness to get out. Many, many people had instant results of uh, one lady in, uh, this was in Vancouver, and he, she had a record of deaf, uh, born deafness. And uh, I think it was one, one year, born deaf, and she was totally restored and a total, you, you know, no more hearing as the other ear. And uh, so I, I have a doctor's uh, uh, confirmation of that. And so, well, again, I need to tell you the body of Christ, all believers, you don't have to ask other people to pray for you. You can ask the Father in Jesus' name, Yahshua HaMashiach, for the gift of, you know, recreated miracles, and then you can command in Jesus' name again, but, uh, you know, pain and the cause of pain to leave, and spirit of deafness, spirit of infirmity to leave, okay? Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for this understanding of your command, and understanding of uh, your scriptures to tell us what to do. Amen. As the body of Christ, we can help each other and many occasions that, remember, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might undo, he might destroy the works of the devil. And that Greek word is undo the works of the devil. And uh, undo uh, is steal, kill, and to destroy. It's the works of the devil. So whenever you see those conditions around you, in your family, in your uh, uh, neighborhood, you know what to do. So you can either command or ask the Father for recreative miracles. Amen. God bless you.